Welcome back to MyFoodChannel.com. Camera Girl here. And today we just got back from the store and we have a hankering for biscuits. And I want no nonsense biscuits. These are very easy. First, you just mix together a bunch of things except the flour, then mix in enough flour to get you a little dough and bake them. So let's get to it. We are going to put some milk. This is a recipe that you can definitely use different kinds of milk. Then we are going to put a little oil, just two tablespoons, believe it or not. And if you wanted to use butter, you can. Butter, as you know, will give it a, a great flavor as well. And then we're going to add just a little salt, some baking powder that is not expired. And yes, just a tiny bit of sugar. You can leave that out. But we are ready for some biscuits the way we want them. You've got everything but your flour, and you just mix that up. And then you're going to add flour up to two cups, but you don't add it all at one time. This is bread flour. We'll sometimes use that. So again, you can use healthier flours if you're using gluten-free. This is a forgiving recipe. But you do want to add it a little at a time because your dough, you just want to get it so it starts coming together. You don't have to knead it or anything like that. So I'm just going to add it a quarter cup at a time. Yes, as I said, it could be up to two cups. There's one quarter, two quarters, and you're like, why don't you at least use a half a cup? I don't like to smash down the flour. I like it that I don't have to sift the flour first. And you don't want to over mix. You just want to get it together a little bit. Let's add some more because that is still soup and we want biscuit dough. And this reminds me, my dad's mom was trying to teach me how to make biscuits. She started making biscuits when she was seven years old for the family when she had to stand on a soapbox. She made it look like an art form. She just had self-rising flour. She had a little bit of oil just a little bit of salt. Now see how this is already starting to come together? Now this is where I switch from a whisk to just a fork. So we've got one, this will be one and a quarter. I'm not even going to add two, I'm just going to add this in and see how it works. But you see how that's coming together? I'm going to add just one more quarter cup. So not quite another quarter. I'm not overworking this. If you overwork this dough, you're going to have dense biscuits. And we want nice, light biscuits. So you see how it's starting to come apart now? I don't want to smash it all together. I'm just going to divide it into some pieces and get it in the oven. So I've got a pan that's just got a piece of parchment paper on it. And I'm just going to divide this into six or seven biscuits. So I like to have a little bowl of flour so that when you're pulling off a little piece, a biscuit, it won't stick quite so much to your hand. Again, I am not working these biscuits. You can do a little bit of that if you want, or you can almost just drop them. Just a little. If you start smashing this stuff around, oh, I want to get rid of all these creases, again, you're going to have dense biscuits. Plus, you want to eat them, and it's okay if they're not real pretty. We're not trying to serve these at a fancy dinner party. So this little recipe you got six biscuits. Yeah. So that's the other good thing. If having biscuits around, you will eat them, which we definitely would. This is less temptation. All right. We got six biscuits. I'm going to clean off my hands and get them in the oven. We've got our oven preheated to 350. Why, thank you, camera boy. We're going to let them go for 20 to 25 minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Look at how much they've risen. You see how it's starting to get just a tiny bit brown? They're done. You do not want to over bake. So yeah, you didn't brush them with anything, but if you put a little bit of milk. You could put or... milk, you could put egg wash, you could put butter. You could even, you know, if you want to, you could put a little butter on them now. So they've got a little more brown on the bottom than on the top, but they're really light, which is great. Again, if you mess with them too much, they will not. <laughs> I can pick it up. I realized I hadn't even taken off my sunglasses. We came in, we were like, we're hungry, we want some biscuits. 
I went right to making biscuits. We walked in the door about 35 minutes ago. Now you're pulling the hot, fresh baked biscuits out of the oven. You need to scramble us up some eggs. Yep. Camera boy. I'll scramble up some eggs real quick and we'll have some eggs and biscuits. Perfecto. You've heard of sliders. We're gonna have a breakfast slider. Cause this, you know, these biscuits aren't huge. You can adjust the recipe, but again, we're too tempted if we have too many biscuits around. These biscuits will look like the perfect size to me. Look They're great. Crumbly. <laughs> Camera girl likes to slice them in half and toast them and then throw a little jam on them. Oh yeah. Hope it inspires you to make up your special treat, whatever it is. If you want the recipe, go check it out at myfoodchannel.com. Check out all of our recipes there. And uh, till next time, ta-ta. Gotta put a biscuit on my plate now.